KXL News at 6. Good evening. The Utah wildfire season is already crackling, keeping firefighters on high alert. Here's a look at just some of the more than 45 fires the crews have battled over the last week throughout Utah. The Maser Fire and the Vernal, that one's in Vernal, the Murray Hill Fire in Box Elder County, both burned close to homes. Today, wildland firefighters got the training they will need as the season for hot and dry weather returns. New specialist Jed Bull was at that training. Right now, these firefighters with the Unified Fire Authorities are training to put out wildland fires quickly. If these firefighters with our local departments can put out a fire start, they can often prevent that fire from becoming catastrophic and costing lives and property. With these wildland fire engines, crews attack the fire directly. The truck sprays the fire as firefighters move alongside. So that's huge. That's your, your ability to go out and suppress fire. Much faster than just using hand tools. Well, when you can do it with a, an apparatus that's rolling, the water is just so much more effective for suppressing the typical grass urban interface fire. This truck, new last year. Three more coming this summer. Firefighters also practice deploying their fire shelters, a skill they might need if they're trapped by a raging fire. It will reasonably protect you. Um, from all that radiant heat and the flames till the fires passed over you. 300 wildland fire starts in Salt Lake County alone last year, already 40 last week. Their goal? Be quick and safe and suppress all those little ones and don't let them become big. Fires that require more resources and more money. The fuels are getting dry again, right? The humidity's coming down. Uh, and we got lots of wind, obviously, in this valley. Firefighters remind us all to clear trees and shrubs from around our homes to create defensible space. If we have about 10 feet of space around our homes, the firefighters have a better chance of saving that property if a wildland fire starts. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl reporting. All right.